looking better already. It's got a whole bunch of black crap in it. Like, it's really thick and sticky and goopy. Like, look at this. It's just full of this crap. It's in all the, all the, like these little indentations and stuff. It's like, it's really nasty. I don't know what it is. But it uh, can't be in here, so I'm scraping it all off. And I'll break clean the frig out of it. I'm not going to just spray this stuff because it's not coming out that easy, and I've already used like almost half a can just on this. So hopefully, I don't need to buy any more, but uh, you never know. Even like four cans of brake clean is cheaper than a new clutch, so. This shouldn't have been so stupid in the first place. Like, look at this. This is just decked. Like, what? What is that? Is that like friggin' clutch dust material and brake? Or not brake clean, but uh, clutch dust material and gear oil, maybe? Like, it's sludgy. And it's just everywhere. It's all over the clutch disc too. <laughs> the neighbor guy is freaking just bombing down the hill. Yeah. Okay, so I guess yeah, ninety percent of it off. I'll break clean it. And Hopefully get the rest off. So I don't have anything else. I just got two cans of brake cleaner. That's all I got. And this one's almost empty. Look at that. It's just. Yuck. <laughs> Tried using the brush to clean it, but it's just spreading it around. But actually, if I can get it thin enough, it might come out. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep trying and playing around with it. Like, I'm not going to make it any worse, for sakes. Gotta get it all out. Yeah, it's a new special black clutch plate. Anyways, I'll get to work and stop blabbing. Well, guys, check this out. It's still a little bit wet from the brake clean, but it cleaned right the frig up. So I just gotta pick out a little bit of the crap along the edge, like in there. But uh, I think it might be okay. I gotta be careful where I set it down. But, uh, like, it cleaned right up. That's awesome. You couldn't see any of that uh, coppery color stuff in there before, but now you can. Friggin' right. This is looking a lot better, too. I've almost used two cans of brake clean. I should have bought, like, four. But, uh, yeah, I still gotta... Well, I blasted that off a little bit and cleaned her up a bit. But this is what I'm worried about. I need to friggin' clean the living F out of this. And there's that stud we cut off. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta clean all that up. Because that's that damn hole that I poured all the gear oil into. Right onto the clutch. Yeah. Smart like that. But, uh. Yeah, other than that, it's freaking good to go. Freaking little bits of crap in the. in the mask. So yeah, so I'll get it fixed up and slapped back together and hopefully Bob will be your uncle. If not, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Only a little bit though. Okay, so I personally think this clutch is good. Um, I brake cleaned the frig out of it. I used a pick and got rid of all the gunk and all the holes and all around the edges. And then I took some sandpaper. It's 400 grit. 
and I just lightly scuffed up all around it, took the shine off it. It's pretty matte now. There's no real shiny spots on it anymore. Oh, well, I don't know. But uh, I'll compare it to my brother's clutch, which should be over there. Should be right here. This one. Ah, mine looks a lot better than this one. This one's freaking shiny, shinier as frig. Mine looks way better, and this clutch was holding fine, so. I'm sure my clutch will be okay now. So. Slap her in, Bob's your uncle, yeah! Okay, so I got the clutch all put back together. It's all cleaned up as good as she's gonna get. Now I just gotta clean out this guy, and then I can start slapping it back together and get it put in. Aw, yeah. Friggin' uh, can of carb cleaner and a can, well, quarter can of brake clean, and she's as good as she's gonna get. So, get her stabbed on. Well, she's starting to take shape. Gotta put the starter in. I gotta friggin', uh, well, actually, I don't know if I'm putting the starter in until I get that guy all situated. So, it might be a bit of a hoor to get in uh, once the starter's in, so. Uh, Oh, friggin' nights. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. I guess, uh... I think that was all the bolts that I had to take out to get the tranny out. Uh, I gotta put in that bottom plate. And then I think she's ready to go back in. So... Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Pause that. Okay, well, I guess I better get cracking because I don't have a whole lot longer to do this. One of my motor mounts is friggin'. It's not that one. I don't know. Maybe they're all fine. Maybe the motor is just friggin'. Well, it's. It's rockier as frig, like. I guess there's only three mounts to hold the motor and tranny in. That's weird. <laughs> Friggin' stock. It's a crap exhaust. Uh, it's stock up until about maybe two feet after that, and then it's all three inch. But still, uh, I don't know, it gets the job done, I guess. Apologize. So, yeah. I guess. I don't know, I guess I, oh crap. Yeah, I love working on dirt, nice, it's fun. I guess I'll chain her up and drop her back in. Oh my. <laughs> oh, it's going. Yeah, I'm not editing this piece out. Uh, huh? Great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the camera doesn't like to zoom out. Yeah. All right, getting that clutch thing in was a pain in the buttocks. What we figured out is uh, we used my brother's big pry bar. We went underneath the car, underneath here, and on top of that. And then he just lifted up, and it lifted this thing up enough for me to get all this stuff in. So that's perfect. Thank you! Well, reassembly is much easier now that I know what I'm doing. I got uh, this axle bolted up already, still got to torque them down, but uh, on these two bolts there, uh, you can barely see them, there's one there and one there. I put them around the other side so that when I pull the motor in the spring, uh, the bolts come in from the other side instead of having to drop this down and friggin' fight with it and then pull the bolts out this side, so. I figured that'll be a lot easier. Um, but my light, my light broke. Friggin' uh, chooched through three bulbs with that thing in the past two months or so. Uh, very frustrating. Um, so it's getting kind of hard to see. Hopefully, well, I don't know, maybe this guy will work. Yeah, not very well, but whatever. So I gotta reconnectulate everything like it's just 
so much to do still. But, you know what, if I stick at it, and if I can see, might be able to get it done tonight, which would be awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. Would that be awesome? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't take the hood off because it's got the... Well, you know, I don't even know what the hell they got going on here. They got freaking two wires running to their... Uh, the spray nozzles for the windshield. Spray nozzles. Um, so I just friggin' took her off and leaned her back. It's good enough. Good enough. So, yeah, I'm starting to get the axle friggin' nuts on. Oh, look, you can tell. It's gonna be funner as frig, boys. Not. So friggin' uh... Oh my goodness. Uh, there, that'll have to do. So, anyways, I'm running out of daylight in a hurry. So, I uh, gotta get working. Oh, guys. Well, she's back in, boys. Friggin' right. Now, all I gotta do is reconnectulate everything. And I did mark down where everything went, so it shouldn't be a big problem. But uh, I noticed, well I didn't notice, but when I was taking the pressure, or the friggin' boost gauge controller thing out, it uh, friggin' the T broke. So, yeah, high quality friggin' stuff. That's frustrating. You'd expect higher quality from a company like Autometer, but you know, it's probably made in China. Sakes. Okay, well I got the uh, speed sensor back in. That guy was a bit of a pig to get in. That guy right there. I had to, uh, I couldn't even thread the bolt in so I had to friggin tap that down until it sat and then uh, stick the bolt in, try to get the tip of it into the hole and then screw it down. Got that plug on, I got the throttle cable on, I had to adjust it one notch. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, I got that guy on. Uh, that was a bit of a pain. I also found out that this guy right here has a little uh, washer dongle thing that needs to get clicked onto there. I had it above it and I couldn't pull that cable all the way and I accidentally bent it down. I kind of re-bent it as good as I could so... Oh, someone's here. Nope, just Adrian. <laughs> Okay, well here, here's a cool little trick for you guys. Um, if you're having trouble getting the alternator in because of that little uh, friggin' spacer thing, what you do is you thread the bolt into this side, <clears throat> and you put something in between the bolt and the spacer, and then you just tighten the bolt and it'll wind the spacer out. Let's see if I can show you guys. See, it's friggin' uh, it's moving it out, so now I can get the alternator, alternator in, and yeah, other than that, I'm like almost done. Got all the wiring hooked up again, need to put the battery in, I had to make a new starter cable. There's that guy there, that guy there. I'll be replacing that one with a heavier gauge one soon, as soon as I can get some wire. Uh, I might even use some of this because I got a whole bunch of it left over. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta get some coolant for her. Aw, oh, friggin' freak sakes. Wind's picking up again. Oh, look, you can tell. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I'm just about done. I gotta get the power steering antler back in, too. And that one's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's because they got those two bolts that come in through the back. Freak sakes. Well, she's all back together. Everything's bolted up. Friggin' all. Alternator's bolted up. The friggin' power steering's bolted up. I just have to go around and zap strap everything because I cut a lot of straps. So once I get them back up, uh, she'll be good to go. Well, almost forgot this. Uh. Yeah, I put the flashlight in my mouth so I can friggin' uh, 
record and use my other hand. So, yeah. Okay, uh, I just need to get some more friggin' coolant. That expensive stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be going with the expensive stuff that, again this time. Like, that was just too much. But, uh, we'll see how she goes. See how she goes. Might have to friggin' uh, try to stall the turbo if uh, this pump is too aggressive or something. Because it'll just be massively just RPMs to the sky. So I gotta make sure that I can stall out the turbo. And uh, a lot of people will say never ever put your hand over that because it will give you a nasty blister. It'll like suck all the blood into the palm of your hand and stuff. So uh don't really want to do that. Beg my freaking pard, but I don't. Uh, they also say to do it right off the turbo because it'll find other things. Like it could pull air through there and it'll pull oil through there and just friggin' Jutify it, but uh, actually, I'm gonna take that off and then uh, I'll try to crank her and see what happens. Yeah, well, we got her running. Thank you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got her running. Uh, use that uh, exhaust clamp friggin' trick on these exhaust clamps, and it worked awesome. Didn't have to fight with it. Um, one thing's really weird with this throttle though is it starts halfway into the throttle movement. Like I had to adjust the throttle stop and now it's friggin' so I'm wondering if maybe uh, the governor spring or whatever that governor pin assembly thing kinda backed off or something when I was tightening it. So maybe I'll get a wrench on here, loosen it off, and then turn that. Like, cause it's... This thing was set up... Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm talking about. Anyways, it starts revving at about halfway throttle. So, I gotta fix that. Yeah. But uh, other than that, she runs awesome. Like, everything's running great. I just need to top it up with coolant. Oh, and I need to put my fan and crap back in too, but not like it works or nothing, so. And then I gotta zap strap everything back together. Yeah. Fun and games and fun games and. Yeah, anyways. So, uh, I'm done for the night, so that's awesome news. I got her done. It took me about 10 hours to pull the motor and about 6 to put it, like, 6 today. Cause it's like 8.30 now and it started, no, about 8 hours. No, because we got back at 1.30, 1.30, so about 7, six, six and a half to 7 hours. Um, between taking the clutch, cleaning it all up, putting it back together, slapping the transmission on it, dropping it back in and hooking everything back up. So, definitely is a steep learning curve on this car. But, um... Yeah, she fires up. Friggin' rights. I just gotta get some coolant. Yeah, so anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.